discussing what needs to be drawn. And Mitoto-san is saying that um, for Capcom, it's definitely an artist that's drawing it. Oh yes, it was one of the, the pixel artists. <laughs> so in the original building, sorry, Mi Mitori-san. Mitori-san is saying in the original building, um, there were two floors that Human was using. Um, the first floor was the school, and the underground mm -mm. was where the actual development was taking place. Could each of you gentlemen describe your role at Human Entertainment? Mitori-san originally joined as an artist, but um, he felt unconfident with his skills as an artist, so he switched to the game designs department, and that's where he stayed. And there really wasn't like a director system in place, but essentially he was a director. Mitori-san yeah, wanted to input into different games, um, so he asked if he could be a director, he was so he started saying that he was a director, and um, after a while everybody started saying I'm a director, I'm a producer, what not. Um, Kono is saying that with Mitori-san's um, team it was alright, but um, there were people within Human that were saying that um, they were saying that um, we don't want this director system, whereas people like Suda-san were saying that we need this director system. So in that sense, it, it could be said that Suda-san had a, a vision for the future. So having meetings and um, saying who who is for this, who is for that, that kind of meeting often takes time, so what was needed was a top-down system where the director says do this and that influences the whole production process. Uh, for three or four years he was a sub-programmer. Um, working on different titles and gaining experience. Um, after that, there was, came the time when PlayStation and Virtual Boy were coming out. Um, it was decided upon that Higuchi-san needed to work on um, Virtual Boy, but he didn't want to. Um, and he was willing to quit. Um, when he said this, he, he said that he wanted to work with the PlayStation. Um, and luckily, at that time, people were talking about bringing Clock Tower to PlayStation. Um, and um, the talk was that if you're going to bring it to PlayStation, why not make Clock Tower 2? So um, when talks of Clock Tower 2 started to develop, he ended up becoming the main programmer.